please enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? Quick disclaimer about this video. Um, uh, I, I just kind of came up with this idea like 20 minutes ago and I really thought about it and I really like this idea. It is unorthodox, it is crazy, it sounds weird as hell, but just, you know, bear with me. Um, this is kind of unscripted, I, I just really thought about this. Um, so, yeah, enjoy. So, Star Wars fans, we have to have a little bit of a chat. We have to rethink the order in which we watch Star Wars, and I know there's probably a dozen videos on in which to watch it, but this is kind of an original take. I think it is. I haven't heard this anywhere else, so I mean, if this is someone else's idea, I apologize, but um, I just it's really unorthodox, uh, but I'll just explain it as I go. To start off, I just want to say that before Episode 7 was released, there were three ways to view the entire saga. There was the chronological order, which was episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then there was also the release order, which was 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. And then there was the machete order, which not many people have heard of, but it's an interesting order, which is episodes 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, and then 6. That way, in episode 5, you learn who Darth Vader really is. He's actually in Skywalker. And then you get like that flashback to episodes 1, 2, and 3. You learn about Anakin Skywalker's journey and his descent into the dark side. And then you jump back into episode 6. With my order, it's very similar to the Machete Order, but I'm going to call it the Machete Order 2.0. Uh, this is very unorthodox, and I just thought about this. It might sound crazy. So this is where it gets crazy. You start off with episode 7. Yeah, that's right. I said that. We start off with episode 7, the latest title in in the franchise, alright? Because then you'll hear about you know, Luke Skywalker, and you'll hear about the Empire and all this stuff. It's pretty much just like the Machete Order with episode 5, you know, you learn about who Anakin Skywalker is, and then you jump back. Well then you start off with episode 7, and then you go to episode 4 and 5, and then you're going to have a flashback within a flashback to episodes, and mind you, I am skipping episode one on purpose. Two and three, I'm skipping episode one because in my personal opinion, you don't have to skip it, you can watch it if you want, but in my personal opinion, it really does not add anything to the story. I mean, you just see Anakin Skywalker as this nine-year-old. I mean, you don't have to have Anakin Skywalker meet Obi-Wan Kenobi. I mean, they could already be, you know, Master and Apprentice, you know, midway through Anakin's training. But you can watch episode one, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't, but yeah. Anyway, so far the order is seven, four, five, two, three. But with episode three, what I would do, and again, you don't have to do this, this is very optional, but you can literally skip the scene where Luke and Leia are born don't need that scene because it just spoils the reveal in episode 6 of, you know, Luke and Leia being twinsies, you know. Um, so, yeah. The Machete Order 2.0, I guess. Um, again, it sounds crazy. Just keep an open mind. Again, that order is episode 7, episode 4, and episode 5. Episodes 2, episode 3, without the birth giving scene, and then episode 6 to know, close it all. Um, so tell your friends, you know, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more stuff like this or just anything in general, and if you've got a friend that has never seen Star Wars, you could try this out. You, you could be like the first to try this out. Uh, this is kind of the first time I've ever done a video like this. Tell me how I did. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about this, so...